imagine I could take a break from this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna be a lost girl Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Rainier Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for the vlog, y'all. All right. Check it. Now look, this is the first time I've been fishing since the 2021 snowstorm that's pretty much devastated the coastal waters of Texas. Um, however, I'm not on the coast. I'm still going to be local doing some freshwater fishing. Now the reports I've been getting about the freshwater um, fishing as far as how the snowstorm affected it, um, people have been saying they've seen a lot of dead tilapia and a lot of dead carp. You know, good and bad. Um, the bad is, of course, you know, you hate to see, you know, fish dying because of, you know, temperature related, you know, issues. But the good is tilapia and carp are an invasive species. And actually, if you catch them, you're supposed to kill them anyway. So, you know, sometimes the good outweighs the bad. Now, I haven't went back to the saltwater. I haven't been saltwater fishing in almost like two months now. Um, but I'm hearing that, you know, maybe like in the corpus area there's a lot of you know fish kill if you've been watching like thruster fishing he shows you that um mdlr in our area he's been showing a little um fishing but it doesn't seem like it's as devastating in our area but they're saying like hey there's a lot of fish just there they just haven't floated up yet so i don't know yet but i'm not doing no saltwater fishing as of now we'll get there soon all right so i'm at a new spot a new park i never tried it before somebody told me yo check out this park nobody ever talks about it you can't find it on youtube so I'm gonna I'm try it out, I'm gonna try it out. It's a big park, I hate big parks because that means that's a lot of area to get skunked. You know, there's a lot of area to walk. I'm gonna see what I can do. I've never been to this park. I don't know where the fish are at. I don't even know if they stock fish in here. So if all else fails, you know, remember my theory, if you can't catch a fish, catch a duck, food is food. It is what it is, all right? So let's see what we can do. I think I can try to get one fish from this lake. Just one, I think I can do it. Enjoy the vlog. Lay up! You won't be some time till then you're down. You thought I would stay with well, that I won't. Don't wanna keep you around anymore. You're no longer the light I used to know. You want your life to be an open door. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Y'all was asking me, where to spy that right now? Well, here it is. I'm at John Paul Landing Park. Alright, so apparently they have largemouth bass, striped hybrid bass, something called white. Apparently some channel catfish, blue catfish, flatheads. We've got some crappy and sunfish, allegedly. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, so this is something I've never personally seen before at a park. It actually has a fish cleaning station. Look at this, y'all. That's crazy. Stainless steel fish cleaning station and whatnot. So you gotta tell me they have a whole one, two, three, four stations to clean and gush your fish. And with the guts and everything, goes down that ramp into this very murky, murky water. Fancy, fancy, okay, okay. Fish cleaning station, I guess that must mean, that must mean um, there's some fish in here. Yeah, let's go. All right, y'all, so I wanna try real quick by this fish station. I don't think there's anything over here because the water is extremely murky. Like, I don't see how anything could survive in this besides ducks. So, um, let me show y'all what I'm using. Got my little Rapella Husky Jerk. Got my PB bass on this the other week. 
with my medium action Arba Garcia. Like I said, I highly doubt anything's over here in this area. And I'm just not realizing I forgot my net in the truck. Hope I don't regret that. Hope I do not regret leaving my net in the truck. In fact, we're gonna go get our net after this. Knowing my luck, I would land something completely huge just because I didn't bring my net. Okay, so my initial assessment of John Paul Landing Park, beautiful park, beautiful park. It does say that um, the park is 865 acres. This is the big ass park. Apparently nobody knows about it because nobody is here. The lake, is 450 acres i repeat the lake is 450 acres they say when completed oh my god it's gonna have 2200 2200 acres feet of water so it's gonna be almost 10 times the size as it is now if there's fish in here i just don't know where they're at i don't know where they're at i don't have time to be walking around 450 acres of water trying to find one fish so I'm doing something I told myself I was never gonna do again. I told myself I was not gonna do this, but all right, look. If, you, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been trying to catch a rainbow trout for three months now. I, I've been like six, seven times unsuccessfully, okay? They're stocking trout again back in Katy. I told myself I was never going to that park again because the last three times I went, Cormorants took all of the fish. I couldn't catch anything, but there's nothing here, so I might as well try. I might as well try one more time. I'm not gonna say I'm trying to catch a rainbow trout. I've said that six times before in six other vlogs. It's never happened. Could the day, could the day be today? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so let's go relocate. Let's go try to catch one of these damn trout and um, save this vlog. We can do it. I know we can do it. Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's go. I've been wandering down. How you doing? Have they stopped to the trout yet today? Yes, sir. They just did. They just did? 45 minutes ago. Nice. Where did they do it at? Right by the pier over there. Over by the pier? Perfect. Appreciate it, man. All right, y'all. So the trout have been stocked. Let's see what we can get into. So once again, just with your fingers. Get this even right here, right? Once it's even, push your finger. Right there with the tip. You grip it. Throw it hard. Click this back. You can kind of just come down, put your rod pit, rod tip down like this, so it stays low in the water. Just slowly retrieve it. You know you slowly got a fish retrieve. or something starts pulling and grabs it. Yeah. So you don't want to immediately reel it in. You want to kind of wait a little bit. No, as soon as you hit the water, click it over and start reeling it in. You keep doing that over and over again. Really? Yep. Welcome to fishing. Okay. Like you gotta, you catching on a seaweed right here in front of you. So you gotta pull your lure out of the water before it hits it. Pull your lure out of the water before pick, it hits it? Pick it up. Like you gotta wash the water. So as you're reeling it back in, and you see you're about to go over to seaweed, you pull it, pull it up. See, I'm learning how to not catch seaweed. Doing good. Hollows. What did you do? It's a, it's a bass. Only a bass. Not my trout. Not my trout. Alright, there we go, y'all. So, first fish of the day. It is not my trout. 
Mm, it's about three pounds though. No, I'm lying. Pound and a half, pound and a half. Anyway, that she goes. All right, here's the latest update. Um, been out here maybe about eh, an hour, hour and a half. Call like one little um, pound and a half um, bass. Yeah, I know it's the size of my finger. Don't judge me. It's a pound and a half. Um, my wife, man, my wife is out here fishing with me for the first time. Uh, not for the first time, but the first time using artificial lures. And um, yeah, I think I might divorce her, y'all. Might have to get a divorce because she's doing things that you expect someone who's never fished artificial to do bird nests, getting hung up, seaweed. I don't got the patience, y'all. I really don't got the patience, I think. I'm single now, so um, ladies, holla at your boy, comment below. I'm single, I can't do this, I cannot do this, I have not the patience. I did love her, I did love her before this fishing trip, but unfortunately the love was gone. Yeah, I don't need this kind of stress in my life, so it is what it is.